So the first question is, can you tell can you tell us what you wrote about and why that issue is important to you? Um, I wrote about a perspective on climate change and how it how how Earth might have felt about it and. It was important to me because climate change is a big thing for us because we don't own the earth. We just, it's kind of like renting it for another generation. But um, I wrote it because I'm, it's just important to, for people to know that we need to change climate change because it's our future too. And then the people who are, what you said, mm -hmm. the people who are running it, who are running, like, for government or for the Prime Minister, um, they don't really care because it's not their future, it's ours. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, same thing. So I wrote about climate change, um, largely, largely just because I got really angry because I was thinking the people who are making the decisions about climate change in, in government, they're not... They're 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 going against the, like the idea of democracy and the idea in the sense that like we're being very vocal about what we want, we're being very vocal about the change that we want, and they're disregarding it almost in its entirety. And it, the people who are making the decisions are not the people who are going to be affected by it. And so I thought, yeah, that's I, it was it was it was definitely out of like a bit of a bit of bit of rage <laughs> at the government. Yeah. Hey, um, so I think one of the biggest things is at the moment there are a lot of um, petitions from municipal municipalities and councils, local councils, to declare climate crises. Kind of as the idea, if they're, if each council declares a climate crisis, then sort of inadvertently the federal government's declaring a climate crisis. And so I think like the recognition that there is a climate crisis in the first place is a hugely important step. And also I think we just need commitment, like. On, on a grander scale, aside from, you know, just student action where we can, you know, we can Im, Im, um, impeach our schools to use renewable energy and we can use less paper and we can leave beach cleanups, we can do all that. But on a larger scale, I think we just need commitment to action. And I think we need, like, active action in the federal government to commit to 100% renewable energy by, yeah. you know, Because we have everything we need to yeah. stop climate change. Yeah, that's the thing. The science is there and the technology is there. It's just about utilizing it. And it's not like there was um, this really great um, uh, senator in America. Um, and she said that um, it, like, there, climate change is going to cost us up front. It's not free, mm -hmm. it's, but it's an yeah. investment. It's an investment in the future. Action against climate change is and an investment. We, and if we don't do it now, it's going to be more expensive yeah, exactly. in the future. So We're paying for it either way. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can first. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I think that, um, like, even just, like, I wrote mine, like, our school made all of our, your group Same. write something for it. Yeah, and so I think, like, even just from that, like, obviously it's been amazing to hear all the other finalists and everything on all their entries, which are, you know, awesome and incredible, but also just, like, the depth and the range of everything that the girls in my school chose to write about as well was just really awesome and inspiring to see, um, like the sort of the the depth that that young people are passionate about yeah. things to, today yeah. yeah and it's also like interesting to know that we all like all young people like what one of the girls that have won had actually wrote about everybody has a story mm -hmm. and and i think that also with having it having like have won it like i wrote it not even thinking about submitting it because it was for our whole class, like yours. And my teacher said to um, submit it. So I did, and she thought it was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was – it's definitely good because I guess the publicity is good because if they're going to read – if they're going to read our stories, then they're going to see that climate change is actually – happening and young people want to do something about it and it's pretty obvious anyways like 
with Greta Thunberg. Mm. That's her name. Yeah, she stands. She does mm. stuff with School Start for climate and stuff like that. And just having have one and knowing that people m- might read our stories and mm. probably probably will, it's nice to know that people will actually see them. Mm. Well, I think a lot of people wrote about climate change. And oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, and I think, like, as well, even, like, like obviously, I like, hearing everyone's mm-hmm. is just, it's great to hear and really, really interesting to read. Um, but also, I think even just, if you look, I think every, all the entries are a reflection, like, are a reflection of what our generation is largely concerned about. And when you have 50% of the entries being about climate change, like, I remember someone saying to me, like they want to write about an original topic, and I remember thinking, oh, "Yeah, so do I." But this is what I like. This is what I genuinely care about, and this is what yeah. I think our generation genuinely cares about. So I think, yeah, yeah, it's sort of getting that sort of, it's a pretty good indicator of uh, this generation's concerns. If fifty yeah. percent of the yeah entries were about climate change, yeah. And, and it's amazing to know that so many people had different sides for it. So, mm-hmm. like, I wrote about Earth's perspective on it, and you wrote about, like... Yeah, young people's mm. sort of opinions of it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure other people did different sides of it too. But um, it's really interesting to know, because climate change is a really big thing, and we need to fix it, so... Yeah, yeah and so there's actually so many angles because it's such a big issue. Mm. Yeah. And it affects everyone very personally, I think, in very different ways. Yeah. And I think a lot of people who don't, like, who don't really care about it, like, I feel like people care about it when it happens to them, like, when something happens to them with climate change. For example, like, a flood and it's happening more rapidly in your city because of climate change or global warming and your country's getting even hotter because of global warming. definitely the government yeah definitely the government i think it's it's um on a on a global scale um i i heard there was um there was this interview happening and it was in america and they talked about they said uh well i mean american america can commit to cutting carbon emissions by 50 percent in 10 years but it's you know we're a, only one yeah. country in the world but if every country think this, thinks that way then it leads to just this sort of enlargement of the issue we already have. I think it's very much, I think for our, for the people our age, the issue is very personified and it's very, very personal and yeah. real. It's a real- Because it's our future. Exactly. Yeah. Like and and well. it's a real threat to yeah. what we have. And I, so I think the biggest challenge that we face in sort of tackling this problem is, is, is making the people in the positions of leadership and making people who are representative of the people and they work for the people Mm -hmm. is making them understand the severity of the situation and making them understand that this is this is not something that can be that can be swept under the rug or discarded because it's i think it's all about money like Mm -hmm. if we start shut down like factories or coal mines less money Mm -hmm. um and i think it's more of like if we get rid of these factories then we can create more jobs throughout maybe like maybe making um solar panels and um i've got windmills to and we can create that and we can get more jobs um the government always talks about the money Mm -hmm. about it and like it's always going to be so much money well like we said it's going to cost more Mm -hmm. if we don't do it now yeah, exactly. I think the thing is, is that the issue itself is very black and white. Yeah. The solution is not, but I think that deters people from taking action to find mm-hmm. a solution in the first place when it's it's not, the solutions are there. They're just not yeah. easy. Yeah. And like science, uh, scientists, ha- scientists have said like, I think it was, we only have 12, year, 12 years to reverse it. Um. And it sounds like a lot of time, but really it isn't no, no. due to the fact that we have so many things to do. And there, like, there are so many positive, positive things about it, but you never hear about them because the news is always talking about how, like, there's floods 
and then they're not t- talking about solutions to it because they're always looking at a bigger picture. So, so I started off with, I think, I started off with the girls' perspective because I knew I wanted to do it on climate change straight away because it's a big, big thing and it's what matters to me. And I started off, I started off with a girls' perspective, but it didn't. I didn't really like it, so I started back and I did one on an animal's perspective, I think, and I didn't like that either. <laughs> and I got rid of it and I started on. Another paragraph, but I wasn't really thinking of what I was doing. And then I was like, well, I did it on the Earth's perspective. So I started that and a lot of my friends entered. And a lot of the people in my school were doing about domestic violence and abuse against animals and stuff like that. And of course, like, not the whole school did it, but I think all the grade five sixes did it. So... Not everybody entered. I think there was like 11 people who entered, including myself. And it just, constructing the way that it was built mm-hmm. and I felt like it. W- I liked it. And I wasn't thinking of um, submitting, submitting it at first, obviously, as I told you. My teacher um, suggested to submit it and I did. And yeah yeah no um so yeah so my year um our school wanted our year to submit something and so I wasn't sure what I wanted to write about and I had a couple different ideas and I was talking to my English teacher about it English teacher just basically said you know write about like write like write something that you actually care about and so then I was it was in the holidays and it was part of our holiday work to write write our our pieces and I was down at the beach (laughs) and I remember I was on my phone and I was looking at um, this video of, in, of um, I think her name's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in, in, in Senate and um, proposing this new deal. Um, and she was being shut down by just some of the most naive comments. And, and she, was, she, she was there, this 28-year-old woman, proposing a deal for the future and just completely, by so many people, just being completely just discarded or ignored or just uh, not taken into consideration. I just remember kind of thinking, like, I got, I got really angry, and I kind of just thought, like, this is this is not your decision to make. This is not, this is not. It's everybody's. Yeah, decision. exactly. And then so with the climate strikes and everything, like the first the first lines that I wrote for my actual thing were the climate strikes, which students across the world have been attending, are not a request; they're a demand because that is what yeah. they are. They're it's it's students instructing the government. This is what we want you to do. Yeah, it's on not behalf asking. of us. It's not asking. It's no. telling them to. Yeah, exactly. If we don't like, if we be polite, then he's just gonna like. Yeah, exactly. Shoot us down again, because mm. um, I think that this is a quote from Greta Thunberg mm-hmm. again. But um, it's like if they don't it. If they've if they've ignored us in the past, mm. they'll ignore us again. Exactly. Because they will, mm. and we need a government who will listen. Exactly. And, like it's kind of sad that children can't be governments. Mm. Yeah. And I People think like that. Yeah. Exactly. I think in the in the midst of all this, um, I think that not just Australian society, not just Australian culture, but globally, yeah. a lot of countries, um, America included, are forgetting are forgetting what democracy is and what democracy stands for and why we have people in government in the first place yeah. and why we have them uh, why we have elected officials and it's to carry out the will of the people and the climate strikes are a very visible vocal demonstration of what the will yeah. of the people is and not just the will of the people but the will of the people who are going to be coming into this world and who are going to be adopting it from yeah yeah prior generations and so because it's not fair on other people. No. Like, for toddlers, like, are they even going to have a world to live in mm. when they're older? Yeah, exactly. Are we going to have a, world, a clean world that we're going to live mm. in? Because it's, like, it's really hard to tell. Because we, we need somebody who's going to stand up and say, look, we can do this. Like, turn it into a positive thing. Instead of saying, like, stuff like, we can't do it because it's too much money. And it's ridiculous because 
we need a world that we want to live in. Exactly. So.